See, I keep saying this is it. This is it when I keep going, right? Mm. That's one thing cleaning headstones has taught me about myself is I definitely don't like giving up. I'm very determined. I really do wish we could all just get along. I really do. In life. Oh my God, I really do. Like family. Why does it have to be so hard? I love my family. Doesn't mean I like them. I do love them. I don't judge. I don't blame. I don't shame. And yet, that's all my sisters know how to do. So sad. I've tried to get them to come over to help clean out my parents' place while I've been here, you know. Who wants to wait until your parents die to have to go through all their belongings and get rid of stuff? Like, why couldn't we have made it fun? The whole family together helping to clear out my parents' place. No, they wouldn't come. They're too busy. Partying or sitting around. Not my brothers, they work full time. I understand everybody has their own life, their own issues. And I understand nobody asked me to come and stay this long. But to be told by my sisters to leave, to go home, when all they've said is they won't come. Where is their soul? Where is it? What I'm gonna have to do, this really is it. This is it, it really is, ha ha. Has to be. Um, I can't read it all. I will be coming back for sure. And I do always come back and I will. now I can't even tell if it's John William oh my gosh is it John William I don't know son of Juss and Jeanette died June 27th 1815 in his youth binds the promise, however, we live but for a hmm, then molder in the tomb. Oh, Lord. Youth birds, the promise. Hmm. I don't even think any more scrubbing is gonna make it easier to read, so I am gonna have to stop now. But I will come back. I will come back. When I'm done, I'm gonna look up, see if I can find him on, find a grave. Maybe there's a clean picture of a headstone that I can read the writing. I don't know. But I do have to go. 
get back to be with my mom. That's why I'm here. I haven't left my parents at all except to go grocery shopping and it's been a lonely journey. Lonely, lonely journey. June 27th, it's either 19, I think it's 1815. I'll do one more, one more, come on. I got a little water left. What is it they say, last call for alcohol? Well, let's do last call for headstone kidney. When I was here the last time, I cleaned Mr. Baker's headstone, and I had just been telling my mom there's no rest for the weary, and on his headstone it said there is rest for the weary. So I do know that these words will mean something to me. I still can't read them. But even as I stop this video in a few minutes, I will come back. Me to take a piece of paper with a pencil and put it over the headstones, you know, and like try to get the words to come through. Maybe I'll try that. All I know is that since I've been here for an hour now cleaning this headstone that I feel much better about today. I had to get out, I had to leave. There's too much family drama. I need time to myself. We all need time to ourselves. That's the way life is. And call me a martyr if you want. Perhaps at times I am a martyr. But when it comes to my parents and my mother, it is love. A love that I know my sisters will never know. How sad. For them, not me. Sad for me, I have to live, deal with their insanities. That's what you want to call them. But really sad for them. Especially my one sister who watches all these headstone cleanings and just sits there and tears me to shreds. You know, she's crazy. I don't care what you think of me. Girl, I am me and I know who I am. We live but for a few short years, then molder in the tomb. But oh, hours.
part, the dawn, the promise of forever approaches, but oh, hours short, the bloom. We live but for a few short years, then molder in the tomb. Oh, wow, okay, hold on, let me see. John William, son of Jess and Jeanette, died June 27th, 1918, in his I want to say 11th year, but I only see one, so it's like you don't say once year. Maybe he was one year old. Youth birds, the promised hour of, hmm, I don't know, gosh, I'm just going to have to come back. But oh, hours, but oh, hour, hour short the bloom. We live but for a few short years, then molder in the tomb. Okay, so bloom and tomb. Here's the promise of our. Mr. William, thank you for your life. I will definitely have to venture back out here to see if I can read these words more as they now mean more to me than they could have meant before I arrived today. I hope you had a good life, however young or old you were. I hope you are resting in eternal peace and enjoying eternal life in a, another world, another universe of heaven. Thank you.